Alright, today I'm going to show you how to build the Easy Drone. And the FPV plane doesn't really have to be FPV, but I use it for FPV. It flies really good, it's very stable. And yeah, so it's just a great plane. So here's a picture of just the plane. Uh, this is the front of it, and that's the GoPro. Uh, the motor, the motor I use is a Rocket 2200 series, 1500 kV. You could go uh, bigger motor if you wanted, because that one's kind of a little bit underpowered, but it works. Uh, this is the underside, just a paint job I did. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to build it now. Alright, so we'll start with the wing, and the wingspan of this plane is 60 inches, and the root cord, not including the ailerons, is 9. And the wing is pretty much just a rectangle, so it's a 60 by 9, not including the ailerons. Like, rectangle. Alright, so now I have the wings cut out, and you can kind of see that's what they're going to be like once they're put together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together like this and then tape them just on one side like that and then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna like stilt it up like a tripod there's only like two legs and then I'm gonna put a bead of glue down that like crease because it's open and then I'm gonna put it down and then that's just gonna get a perfect seam so I'll try to alright so I've got the bottom taped and now the top is has this like seam right there and right now I'm going to put some hot glue in there I'm just going to stick a bead of glue and I'm going to fold it down alright so I've got my massive sheet of half inch insulation foam from Home Depot and now I'm going to cut out my airfoil and the dimensions of the airfoil are 5 by 60 so I'll cut that out alright so I've got that cut out that's the airfoil and I'm just gonna glue that on the leading edge of your wing you can pretty much choose whatever side you want so I'm just gonna glue that on just like that so the next step is to put a carbon rod in the carbon rods are not needed this is gonna be my first time putting it in but uh, with this half inch airfoil, the wing's pretty weak, so putting it in. And also, I'm going to bevel down this edge and make it more aerodynamic. So here's the wing. I put the carbon rod in. And I also beveled down the edge and taped the leading edge. Now to the ailerons. And the ailerons' dimensions, they're just rectangles again. They're 1.5 by 21 inches. And they will go just like that on both sides one down there okay so I put my ailerons on by first using just this tape and I just put the aileron on where I want it push it together and then just put the tape on just hold it in place for when I put on the other tape because it's hard to put a whole string of tape down when the ailerons move it around and if you do mess up this tape is a lot easier to remove than packing tape so there's that now we're gonna get the packing tape right here I just use duct tape there I, yeah I guess it's called duct tape and I'm gonna put this on Try to get it as smooth as possible without any wrinkles. Alright, and make sure you push this tape down hard too. And then just go over the spots that the tape did not get to because the tape's not long enough. With this tape, just to make sure it's sealed. And just to get the tape edges again. Alright, so now that's there. And we're gonna team the wing over. And we're just gonna fold the aileron back like that. Let's see, regular. Fold all the way back. And I'm just gonna sand this edge. I'm just gonna sand those edges down so it can go down because right now it stops there. Okay, so this aileron is almost done now. I've cut the hinges, you can see. So now it can go back and forward. It's got all that motion. 
Now there's just one more step left in keeping the aileron, and that is to come like this and fold the aileron all the way back like this and get a piece of tape. Now on this I'd probably use four. Just line them out and just come from here all the way around here. That's to keep the aileron from coming off, like ripping the paper. I'll show you that real quick. Got a piece of tape. I'm gonna fold this back. I'm just gonna stick it there. I'm gonna make sure I pull this tight so it doesn't crinkle. And then pull that around, push it down. And that right there is gonna keep the aileron from coming off. Now I'm just gonna do maybe like five, four or five more on this aileron and then to the other aileron. Okay, so this is the wing and these are the two rods that go back and the elevator would be right here. In this case, I am using 20, no, 36 inch wooden square dowels and they are yeah, they're wood and I painted them red. And to figure out where they go, I just measured in 22 and a half inches and drew a line perpendicular to the wing and that is where the outside of these go. Alright, here's the horizontal stabilizer with the elevator of which I already hinged and you just follow the same procedure as you did on the ailerons and the size of this is going to be 16 inches long and 5 inches deep with a 1 inch aileron and you just hinge that the same way. Another thing you might want to do to your horizontal stabilizer is put a carbon rod on there just to strengthen it up. Alright I just put the servos on the wing just got control horn, control rod, servo and these are the Detrum or the I guess Detrum slash Dynam 9 grand servos and those that's just for the ailerons and I got it on both sides. Okay these are the vertical stabilizers this is the middle stabilizer and these are the two end stabilizers both of them this distance right here is five inches and this distance right here is one inch for the elevator that's on all of them the height of the two edge ones or the smaller ones is three and a half on both and the height of this one is six so the big one is six and you can pretty much just kind of guess on the rest doesn't really matter so I'll give you the top length of the small ones is about two and the top length on the big one is about three okay so I got all the um, vertical stabilizers on and made them all square so the end ones are just flush with that and this one is just centered up I drew the center line on the horizontal stabilizer and then the same over here now this servo I got a popsicle stick I don't know if you can see that I got a popsicle stick and that's how it's on there and it's just pretty much glued on the side and that goes down to this another just popsicle stick control horn